Hi, Josh Barker with Remax Town & Country Real Estate. Thank you for checking out our market update for the month of July. You know, this market update is actually going to serve for our mid-year report for the housing market here in Shasta County. But to start right off, I'm going to jump into what the average sales price is for the market. Right now, the average sales price is $258,000 in the county. Last year was $242,000. So sales prices are up 6.43% over last year, which is good news, obviously. Now, if we look at year to date, how many homes have sold and closed escrow this year, year to date up to July? It was 1,335 homes by the end of June. A year ago, it was 1,160. So closings are up 15% over last year. Okay. The next one I want to look at real quick is just how many new listings are coming to the market. Last year, there was a total of 2,082 homes that came to the market. This year, year to date, 2,347 properties have come to the market. So new listings coming to the market this year is up 12% over last year. So those are the figures that we're looking at. So right now, housing market's still moving strong. Um, the interest rates are remaining at or just around 4%. Um, they have bumped up a little bit, largely just because of some of the regulation that's coming into the mortgage market. Going forward, interest rates are expected to jump up a little bit, but right now we're sitting at a really low 4% range. So a uh, couple things to talk about. I've uh, been asked about what the home appreciation expectations are for the next 12 months. And what I wanted to do is just, I wrote down a few points I'm gonna review with you to kind of share how we got where we're at right now. And then of course, what our opinions are going forward over the next 12 months. So I'm just gonna jump in real quick and just do a quick overview. And you probably already know a lot of this, but um, understandably so, homes were really undervalued in 2011 and 2012. I mean, we were in the heart of the foreclosure crisis and foreclosures were literally wreaking havoc on all kinds of home inventory throughout the market. Sellers were having to deal with you know, homes that were foreclosing on their streets. So obviously prices were down as a result of that. So we're past that now. We've went from an, over, an overall of almost 50% of sales being foreclosures or distressed properties down to below 10% today. So it's not having the impact it had before. And as a result, prices did move up, okay? Second piece to look at is just that um, interest rates in the recent years has been the lowest on record. And even though they've still moved up a little bit into the low fours from the mid threes, that's still historically low. And that's caused a lot of buyers to get into the market and increase what they can afford to purchase because as rates are lower, you know, they can obviously afford a higher mortgage um, amount. So um, that's had an impact on appreciation. Um, new construction starts in Shasta County, even though we might hit 200 starts for the year this year, that's still historically low and the whole country's dealing with this issue. So what that means is that a lot of new construction has not been added to the market, which means our inventory levels have remained pretty low and that's caused prices to also push up as well. And then of course, the final piece that's really helped prices move up is that the low down payment loans are back. I mean, buyers in Shasta County can purchase as low as 0% down, not, and not even being a veteran to do that. Then you have 3% down, 3.5% down, you have FHA, you've got conventional, all of these programs now are opening up to a really low down payment that's bringing additional buyers into the market and that's also contributed to prices going up. So bottom line, after all those points I've just reviewed, our prices have moved up nearly 30% over the last three years. And you can't expect to, you know, to continue on with that rate of appreciation. So it's natural to expect that things are gonna to begin to slow down, at least the amount of appreciation is gonna slow down. And we're expecting to see anywhere between a two and a 4% growth in appreciation year over year for the next 12 months. And again, for the reasons that I just stated. So in any case, if you have any questions at all regarding the value of your home, or if you're thinking about purchasing and would like to get a good feel for what, what the best process is for getting a great home, feel free to give me a call here at the office. We're always here to help. In any case, I hope you have a great week and we'll talk to you soon. Thanks again.